Yesterday, I found out about a weird problem in my wireless network. I mean, it probably have been there for quite some time, but I just realized it yesterday. So this is basically what happened. I actually took out my 17 year old, but definitely gold Dell laptop. I mean, if you follow the channel, you probably remember that I have a whole video talking about this amazing laptop. So I actually needed the laptop to do a project, but as soon as I started working with it, I realized the Wi-Fi was disconnected. I mean, it couldn't even see my Wi-Fi. This is actually the only wireless client device in my network that supports only the 2.4 GHz band. The rest of them are like dual band, so they support 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. And they're connected just fine. It shouldn't matter though, because my wireless router is also dual band. So I actually use the Wi-Fi analyzer app on my phone to check out the Wi-Fi situation here. And strangely enough, I could only see the 5 GHz network, but not the 2.4 GHz one, even when I was close to the wireless router. It actually looked like for some reason it wasn't even being broadcast. So the first thing I wanted to do was to make sure that the 2.4 GHz network was actually enabled on the wireless router. So I logged into the wireless router and could confirm that it was enabled, even though it was not being broadcast. Hello, IT? Have you tried turning it off and on again? Well, as a matter of fact, I have. I've even done a factory reset with no luck. So at this point, I would kind of knew that the issue was either hardware related, which in this case, I would probably not be able to do anything about it, or firmware related, which in this case, my options would be to install different versions of firmware and see if that fixes the problem. Of course, the best practice is always to make sure the latest version of firmware is installed. I, however, decided to do something else. So this is my very old Linksys E900 wireless router. I've actually used it in different videos to do different projects. Once, for example, I installed the DDWRT firmware on it, which is a third party firmware that has some interesting features that the original factory firmware doesn't have. I also use it as a secondary router once as a repeater and once as a repeater bridge to extend the range of my wireless network. And today I actually want to use it again to fix my current Wi-Fi issue. But obviously I'm not going to replace my main wireless router with this one because this one is actually very old and supports single 2.4 GHz band. So I'm actually going to add this to my network, but not as a repeater, but as an access point to complete my main wireless router. Basically, I'm going to set it up as an access point and have it broadcast a 2.4 GHz wireless network and then connect it directly to the main wireless router. This way, the primary wireless router is going to be in charge of broadcasting the 5 GHz wireless network and the secondary router is going to be in charge of broadcasting the 2.4 GHz wireless network. There's going to be some sort of teamwork. So how can I set up the secondary wireless router to be an access point? Well, in some wireless routers, the firmware actually allows us to change its operation mode and set it as an access point. Basically, there is an access point option available, which is going to make it very easy. However, there are some other wireless routers such as this Linksys that they don't have this option available in the factory firmware. The good news is though there is actually a workaround that would let us change its operation mode and use it as an access point. So first let's do a factory reset just to make sure there is no existing configuration on the Linksys wireless router. Then I'll connect my computer directly with an Ethernet cable to one of the LAN ports of the router and open a browser and type in the router's IP address which in my case is 192.168.1.1. Now I can log into the router. Here I'm going to disable the DHCP server because the main router is already a DHCP server. I will also disable the SPI firewall. And then create a new wireless network with proper and secure password.
And last but not least, I will assign a valid and unused IP address to the router. For example, in my case, the primary wireless router is 192.168.1.1. So I'm going to give 192.168.1.2 to the secondary router. Now I make sure everything is actually saved. And as soon as everything is saved, the secondary router's IP address is no longer 192.168.1.1. So if I need to log into the secondary router, I should use the new IP address. Now all is left is to connect the secondary router to the primary router. I can do that using an Ethernet cable. One end of the cable will be connected to one of the LAN ports of the secondary router. The other end will be connected to one of the LAN ports of the primary router. All right, I guess mission is accomplished now. The 2.4 gigahertz network is back online. And of course, with the help of my old wireless router here. Now I can also take advantage of the extra LAN ports here to connect some other wired devices to the network if I want. I mean, who would have thought an old wireless router that I almost gave up on actually came to rescue my network quite a few times. Very interesting. I mean, it always feels good when I can uh, fix a problem using something that at some point I thought it was junk and no longer useful. It always feels good when I can do that. And that's why I really enjoyed making this video and doing this project. I hope you liked it too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like button for me. It will help me a lot. And also share this video if you think it might help someone else too. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe because more videos are coming soon. Thank you very much and I will see you next time.